First, uh, I would like to thank you all for coming uh, to this session of the Broadband Commission for Sustainable Development. And of course, uh, first and foremost, uh, my gratitude uh, goes to uh, Carlos Slim, the president of the uh, Carlos Slim Foundation, and also uh, His Excellency Mr. Paul Kagame, who will join later here, the president of the Republic of Rwanda, for their leadership, and I would say for their outstanding commitment to the work uh, of our commission. And of course, uh, my deep uh, gratitude uh, to uh, my colleague, my dear friend, uh, Haolin Zhao, the Secretary General of the uh, ITU, uh, and all to all of you uh, for the outstanding work that this commission is doing. On a personal note, I would say that it is a special meeting for me, my last one as UNESCO Director General. And I do recall our first meeting uh, in 2010, at that time, uh, the uh, Secretary General of the United Nations, uh, Mr. Ban Ki-moon, uh, was launching uh, an appeal to accelerate the progress towards the Millennium Development Goals. It was seven years ago. And it was five years because the, before the deadline of the uh, 2015, the end of the Millennium Development Goals. And uh, uh, I recollect very vividly our discussions because already the digital revolution was changing the way we communicate, uh, how we create, how we share knowledge. But seven years later, we have seen an incredible uh, acceleration at speeds that we didn't even Im imagine at that time. And we were touching base this morning also uh, with Carlos Slim, uh, exactly these discussions. And also in 2015, the world charted a new course through the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Paris Climate Agreement. We have seen that much has changed since 2010, but the conviction that this commission is more relevant than ever uh, stays with us. This is the belief that new technologies are a transformational force to build inclusive knowledge societies. It is the conviction that access is essential, but access must include investments in skills, in education, in relevant content. Indeed, digital skills and digital literacy are the focus of the new report of the Education Working Group that we will be launching today. And this is also the focus of a Open Educational Resources Second Congress that UNESCO is hosting opening tomorrow in Slovenia, in Ljubljana. And it is the idea, fundamentally, that technology does not equal innovation. It is the use that women and men make of technology that drives true progress. And we have said many times, and I would like once again to start this discussion, saying that the digital revolution must be a development revolution, a sustainable development revolution. We need broadband to strengthen the sustainability of development efforts. We need broadband to bridge divides and not deepen them, especially for girls and women and for the marginalized. We need broadband that ensures equal access to education, that enhances the quality of learning all across uh, the world, because these are the strongest foundations for sustainability and, at the end of the day, for peace. So the Commission has cleared so much ground over the last seven years, and our reports have set milestones year after year, and we will later discuss this. Our advocacy has helped to underline the power of ICTs at the heart of the 2030 agenda. But there is still so much to be done. For millions of people, most of them women, the worlds, as we see the digital age, have little meaning. On the outskirts of the global village, they receive few of the benefits of globalization and suffer many of its costs. According to the 2017 State of Broadband report, 4 billion people still do not use internet and 1.8 billion people lack access to a 3G or higher mobile connection. Divides in access are exacerbated by divides in literacy, in skills, in services, and made worse by gender divides holding by girls and women. So once again, this is why this commission is so important. We must continue to do everything to ensure technological breakthroughs are development breakthroughs. This goes, of course, with advocacy, but beyond, for expanding networks and services. This is also about enhancing freedom of expression and access to information. This is about opening new paths to create and share knowledge. This is about widening opportunities 
especially for girls and women. This is about leveraging ICT's access to help achieve sustainable development goal number four, for ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. And this is about promoting development of content that will be relevant, local, and multilingual. So for this, I'm happy to be once again here and that I hope with this meeting also we will strengthen our message, our message that will be more powerful and we will launch also concrete initiatives and new partnerships. Because I believe today partnerships are the new leadership and this commission have shown exactly the way forward for such leadership. Thank you for your attention.